Sean Penn story? Well, I did a movie called The Pledge with Sean, Jack Nicholson, Sam Shepard, Mickey Rourke, Helen Mirren, I mean, just the dream cast. It's called The Pledge. And, um, and I had been preparing for the role, and there's a, there's a scene in it where I play Jack Nicholson's uh, cop. I'm a cop, and we play partners, and he's sort of gotten on the booze and let himself go, and he's smoking cigarettes, and he wants to come and get my, illicit, get my help for a case that he's doing now uh, as a retired cop. And I'm a clean-cut guy and everything. I'm in the office, and he's come in asking, and he's smoking, and he's got a bottle in the back. And I, and I was researching the scene and doing what I was telling you about, sort of thinking about it. And I, what popped up in my mind was an orange. I, I got to have an orange in this scene. And I didn't question it. I taught myself not to question it. So when I got to, uh, we filmed it in Canada, and I, I got to Sean, I said, Sean, I don't know why I need an orange for this scene. And so Sean, to his credit, right off the bat, he goes, get oranges. So he had a bag of oranges for me, right? And there's Jack, and Jack's sitting there like this, and he's smoking a cigarette like this, looking like hell, right? Yeah. And the whole time I have this beautiful, fresh orange, and I'm peeling it, and he's asking for my help. And the whole time, and Jack didn't even know about this, right? And so I'm peeling this orange and eating these beautifully, you know, <laughs> these delicious, juicy things, and he's like this. And finally, he's eliciting my help and everything. At the end, when I say no, Jack's ash is this long on a, on a cigarette, and he's got nowhere to, to ash it, and disgustedly, I look at him, I hold out the, that beautiful orange peel, and he ashes in the orange <laughs> peel like this, and I throw it in the garbage, and that was it. That was the scene. Yeah, but that was why I needed an orange. It was, it was, it showed beautifully the, our, uh, the distance um, right. that had come between us, and where his state of mind and where I was, but it's just because uh, I trusted myself you know, and it, and, it, and it brought a whole no, another level to the scene. That's awesome. Are you better at Jack impersonation or Sean? <laughs> well, I mean, Jack, I'll tell you a story about Jack. Um, it's a really fast story. Uh, when we were, we were in Reno uh, preparing for the movie, and, and so Sean stayed on in Reno to scout, and Jack and I flew back on a private plane together. And so here I am, one of my heroes, and I said, Jack, I said, five easy pieces, The Shining, Last Detail, Carnal Knowledge, King of Marvin Gardens. And you know, he's sitting there and, he, and we're in this private plane, it's humming and everything like this. And I'm like this young kid, and he looked at me and goes, like I've always said, kid, I don't make movies, I make classics. <laughs> <laughs>